Hey everyone, how's it going? Owl here. Welcome back to Tales of the Black Forest. This is chapter 2. Um, we're going to receive that intro sequence we saw in the last episode because I just felt like it. But hey, welcome back. I wasn't going to play this game, but uh, it was really foggy out and I felt like, hey, let's do something a little spooky. Chapter 2, The Traveling Cat. Is it the cat that's been hitting on us awkwardly? I know we met the beautiful uh, owner of the cafe, who uh, I instantly want to marry. Ah, we haven't had a customer for a long time. Welcome to Forest Cat Cafe. Excuse me, are you the boss here? I am the waitress. The boss is inside. Ah, you do not own the cafe. I knew that. Isn't it opening hours right now? Business has been very slow lately, so we have been quite idle. Yeah, cat cafes are... They're a great idea on paper, but not really in practice. We hope you can support our humble establishment if possible. Oh, uh, okay. Idea. By the way, does this place have a magical barrier? Yes, ma'am. You are very knowledgeable. Well, you know, I can talk to cats and I can see dead people. You know, it happens. After all, the economy is bad right now, so we have to set up a barrier to save on costs. Costs for what? Nyan, nyan, nyan. Cool. Excuse me, fluffy ones. Hello, you're so cute. I'd pick you up, but I can't. What does this sign say? Special offer for a limited time today. Caramel macchiato and blueberry mochi ice cream. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. I love that it's an old train car. We had a restaurant in my hometown that was like that, but unfortunately, it was demolished. The Yankee Silversmith. Is this another beautiful person? Oh my god. Why? Ah, oh, it's a cat maid. Welcome to Forest Cat Cafe. What can I get for you? Um, my heart, please. Excuse me, are you the boss of Forest Cat Cafe? I'm the waitress at this place. That's what the person at the door said to you, right? What? Yes. Sorry, she is the boss of this place. That idiot would always pull some silly pranks because she has too much free time on her hands. I don't care. You're both you're both melting my heart. Why do you need to see her? I I have a question. Uh, yeah. What? What's going on? Are we being robbed? Are you being robbed? I'm not being robbed. H hi. Yeah. What happened? I just dozed off for a while and my two kittens disappeared. They're cats. They're probably just wandering around. That's what cats do. They should come back when they are hungry. See? Question mark lady knows. You're right. But if I'm not with them, they would definitely be scared. With all due respect, they seem rather happy when you are away. Ooh. Uh? Why? They complained a couple of days ago that you had added strange things to their food. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? That's the cake I was experimenting for that new flavor. Don't feed your cats cake. That's so weird. But you can't use the products of your field experiments to feed them either. No, you, you can't. That's just that's weird, man. They are poisonous, and is it and it is wasteful to throw them away. Oh, I just realized they have the good luck cat right here. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It's, it's Mr. Totoro. Love it. That's, yeah. Anyhow, you still shouldn't feed your cat's cake. Forget it. If you're worried, go and find them. I will look after the cafe. Would I bump into some weird stranger? I'm not too good at dealing with strangers. Ugh, I'm gonna have to find your cats, aren't I? If you don't mind, I can help you find your cats. Really? The cat at my home also wandered off quite a number of times, and I had to find it and bring it back all the time. Uh, I would just let my cats wander around outside, and they would come back for food. Simple as that. Then I'll really need to trouble you. By the way, I don't know your name yet. My name is Kihara Kachin. Kahara. Nice. My name is Kenoshita Sakurako. And this girl over here who looks super serious is Aizawa Makoto. Sorry about that, Kihara-san. My stupid boss has given you so much trouble. Eh? How could you say that about others? Sakurako-san. In this month alone, you've already spilled coffee on customers twice. Oh, God. Spoit! 
the oven three times. Spoilt? Spoilt? Spoilt. Spoot. Spot. The oven three times. Broken five plates. And now you'd still lose your cat. Hey, it's her cafe, man. Eh? Did I do all those? Th all these? Please be focused when you work. Oh my god. You know, she's like, we don't have a lot of customers. If you're spilling, like, scalding hot coffee on your customers, it's kind of no wonder they're not hanging out there. This episode really. This chapter is really bouncy and cheerful so far. By the way, uh, Sakuraku san, do you know anything about the lane of the weeping rain? You know about the terrorist attack that happened here three years ago? Kihara san, do you plan to go to the lane of the weeping rain? Yes. It's said that the lane of the weeping rain has a highly corrosive rain in Spain where the reindeer on the plane. What? And I've heard that the owner of Forest Cat Cafe knows how to avoid the weeping rain. I see. Right. When you get my kittens back, I will tell you how to get across the lane of the weeping rain. Okay, then I will set off now. Just a minute, Karasan. Please come with me to a place. Uh, what place? This seems suspicious. Don't murder me. Oh, you've been outside. Kehara-san, you have probably noticed this kind of signpost during your travels. Is this... <gasps> Can we now fast travel? Is that what this is? Yes, I have seen it before in Shikanaki Village. In fact, this signpost serves as the transport hub for Ghost Train. Ghost Train. Wasn't Ghost Train a character from Rick and Morty? Ghost Train... It is said that during the Meiji period, trains were introduced into Japan. In order to build the railways, people destroyed large tracts of forests and grasslands, and many animals died as a result. Since then, people who lived near the railways would often hear that mysterious sound of trains. Okay, man. Even the trains that ran normally at night would encounter those mysterious trains head on. In fact, they're caused by the restless spirits of those dead animals. That is completely insane, but so insane that it's actually very amusing. <laughs> but after a long time, the restless spirits' anguish wore out, and they've remained on this land permanently by manifesting themselves as trains. <laughs> what? I'm really depressed, so I'm going to become a ghost train. But you were killed by, like, a lumberjack ghost train. Oh my gosh, it's like the worst superhero origin story ever. It's like, and he became Ghost Train. <laughs> this is why it's a character in Rick and Morty, because it's a joke character on the show. And, and he, I'm pretty sure he dies in the episode we meet him. Spoiler alert. Hence, a large number of trains have formed a special transport network. Oh, but not only did they turn the trains, they're sentient trains. Alright, cool. And the signpost is the hub for the transport network. Simply put, this signpost can transport you to other places with that signpost. Figured that one out already. Thank you for letting me know that. I... I see. Listen, lady, I don't know what drugs you're on, but please remember that sharing is caring. Those kittens can't get through the barrier I have set up, so they have probably run to other places through this signpost. Does that mean I can find them through the signposts? Right. But I'm still not sure which signpost they have gone, so I'll need to trouble you to find them one by one. They've gone to the haunted village with the creepy lady of the baby, haven't they? I'm gonna get murdered trying to find cats, which seems pretty par for the course. This pass is for you. You can use this pass to activate the transport function, so it'll be easier for you to return to Kuramori Town. Although this pass is for single use, you can use the transport function permanently once it is activated. Cool beans. Obtained Ghost Train Pass. Hmm. Sakura-san, thank you. I should thank you. In fact, I'm not that good at dealing with people, and I don't really like to go to crowded places. So I will have to trouble you to help me get my cats back. Uh, y y yes, I, I am aware of that. Alright. There were two kittens that ran away. One of them is a white cat, and the other one is a ginger cat. You can ask Aizawa for information on these two kittens. It's easier for you to find them if you know their habits. Huh. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. I just realized I left my sidekick back at the uh, fox house. She has no idea where I am. I just kind of, like, left. 
This is a very pretty game. This game is completely bonkers insane, but it's very pretty. Ooh, can I bring this? You know what? I'm going to explore the cafe a little bit. About the cats. Yep, yep. I can't go upstairs? Fine. Okay, tell me about the cats. Kaurasan, I'm sorry to trouble you. If I didn't have to look after the cafe, I would have searched for the cats myself. I heard Sakura-san say the business isn't good lately. Sorry, this is Sakura-san's usual method to attract customers. What? To put it simply, she would claim that business in the cafe is slow to get sympathy from others. A lot of customers have been deceived, like you. That mother? Although very few humans would come here, the yokai who live nearby are our regulars, so our business isn't that bleak. That idiot can't do a good job, but would always come up with many strange menu offerings. Like, I'm a little curious, like what? Uh, uh, by the way, I'd, I'd like to know something about those two cats. Your information might help me find them? What would you like to know about those two cats? I would like to know about the white cat. That white cat is called Rin Ch Rinchan. It loves horror films and is a crazy fan of Komatsu Nanako. So that one's the one that's probably in the scary horror village. Rinchan likes to collect everything about Komatsu Nanako, like posters, photo albums, and, and such. If you find Rinchan, try to pretend that you like Komatsu Nanako. Okay. What would you like to know about these two cats? What about the ginger cat? The ginger cat is called Mochi-chan. Aww, Mochi. Who? There's a YouTuber who has a cat named Mochi. Is it Aaron? Does Aaron have a cat named Mochi? I, I want to say it's Aaron, and Aaron and Susie who have a cat named Mochi. It's probably Susie's cat, to be honest, not Aaron's, but whatever. Uh, and it likes movies on magic, yokai, samurai, and such. It has probably watched a lot of this kind of movies, so it always harbors fantasies of having magical powers. Well, it is a talking cat but knows how to transport through signposts, so it's not like it has no powers. Some time ago, it said it had even found some strange skull in Shikanaki Village. Maybe you went there. Oh. Oh, Eiko-sama. Yes. I get it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I hope this information is helpful to you. Yeah, so the ginger cat is at Eiko-sama's skull. Ooh. And the uh, white cat is... Do you want to activate the transport function? Yes. I'm not actually not sure where the white cat is. I thought the white cat was at the scary village, but I guess I'm wrong. Um, the cat signpost function has been activated. Forest cat cafe. Oh, okay. Apartment. Deer skull. Um, oh, I thought I could select from that. Okay. What? What? Yes. Oh, I had to re-click it again for some reason. Uh, deer skull. I'm almost positive that's where one of them is. Oh, what do you know? Hey, dear guy, I'm actually not here for you. Hey, buddy. Uh, this strange skull is blooming with flowers. Yeah. Yeah, that was me. I did that, sort of. Yes. Uh, well, uh, Sakurako-san is worried about you. You should, like, go back soon. They all don't believe I have magical powers. I don't want to go back. Yeah. You're insane. You're completely insane. All of you. Every one of you. Actually, you might not believe me either. I also have magical powers, but mine are actually real. I think. I could be insane as well. Really? Yeah. The animals nearby all know about me. You can ask them if you don't believe me. Hmm. If you go back to the coffee house, I can show you. I'll ask the animals first. Yeah. Fair enough. But, like, I had a whole conversation with that deer. Oh, did you... Whoa, we're playing as the cat now? Sweet. Can I murder things? Hunt the bird. Get it. Okay, I can't hunt the bird. Fine, I'll talk to the deer who I've been avoiding. Hello. Excuse me, do you know that human girl? You mean Kaharasama? Of course I know her. Oh, Sika, that was the deer's name. Does she really have magical powers? Of course, Kaharasama could do things humans couldn't. Look at all these blooming flowers. It's all thanks to Kaharasama's help. Oh my. Uh, do I have to talk to anyone else? I I don't know if there's anyone else I really need to talk to. I feel like that's that's good. Now do you believe me? Kiara sensei, I apologize for being rude earlier. Yeah. Apology not accepted, and I just punt the cat the cat as hard as I can. 
Uh, I've only done that once to a cat, and it was by accident. I was walking, and the cat walked in front of me, and I wasn't looking where I was going, and the cat was right perfectly over my foot, and I sent it flying across the room. <laughs> we were both surprised. The cat was like, what? And, uh, it's like, uh, it's like, cat, maybe you shouldn't, like, try to walk on my feet while I'm walking, because things like this will happen. Sen sensei The author? Kara-sensei, please teach me how to use your magical powers. Um... Well, involves getting into a horrific car accident and losing your mom, so I don't know if you really want that. <laughs> so that's how I got my powers. Uh, I can teach you, but before that, you must go back to the coffee house. Lies! Okay, Kahara-sensei. I love you. Aw, oh, bro. Bro. I love you too, bro. I just saved. Alright, so the other cat likes horror films. So, I'm gonna go to the... Wait, is that it? Oh, that's a squirrel. Uh, so I'm gonna go to the village, the haunted village, because that's what would make sense to me. Because, like, there's, like, a dead body over there. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Those are those are actually skulls. Uh, this is where the guy hanged himself. His wife drowned herself in the river. So I'd imagine... Um, I forgot I had a flashlight. I don't know if the flashlight does anything. Uh, okay, there's a signpost. Alright, chicken. Hmm. That leads to the fox forest. I don't think he's there. Let's see. Um, the other cat was right in the open. Could this one be in a building? Or... I guess we could try to go inside. Um, the door is shut tight. Right. Oh, yeah, this is, that's the, uh, the storekeeper's house. We haven't actually been in there yet. Uh, I can actually run, can't I? Whoa! Um... What's this place? I don't know if there's a door. I don't... I think... The door is locked. By peering through a crack on the door, I can roughly see that the furniture inside is covered with dust and cobwebs. Alright, I don't think we have to time travel to find this cat. Okay, so... Okay, so... Probably not the apartment. Not the cafe. Wait. Have either of the only places? Huh. All right, let's explore a little bit. That's weird. Shu Ji Shin, is your master Matsuyama Masosan? Shu Ji Matsuyama Shin, click. I, that's not helpful. I'm actually looking for a cat. Do you, have you seen a cat? Your master has some friends. Y you can look for them. Does he? Yeah, he is part of a cult. Matsuyama's friends. Friends. They live near the wooden bridge at the end of the village. You could probably make your way there yourself. Yes, thank you. I, okay, I don't know what I just did. I was just looking for a cat, but apparently I just helped a random chicken, so that's cool. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, the train station. That's a creepy place. Maybe uh, the cat's in the train station. Uh, nope. Whee! Alright, so not... I know I can teleport, but honestly, I might just walk everywhere just because, like, it doesn't take that long. I mean, it's a small place. Uh, an uninhabited house. Okay, so no cat there. Um, check inside the snack shop. That could be it. The door won't budge. I, I don't think the cats traveled back in time. I really hope they didn't, because that'll make things a little more difficult. Can I go inside here? Uh, door can't be opened. All right, so I'm going to assume the cat is not here. Um, so then where is it? Alright, we found one of the cats was here. Hey, Fika, get out of my way. Let's see. Um, the town? It, could they be at the town? I didn't see any horror posters, but I wasn't, like, super looking. But it's possible one of the places has, uh, has something horror-related going on. Um, convenience store... Places up for sublease. Wait! Horror! Posters! Uh, Mononoke-sama movie poster. Uh, poster of the Midnight Ring, hand-painted. Midnight Ring? I remember Kamatsu Nanako has the leading role in that horror movie. But was there a white cat in this poster before? Wait, the cat's inside the poster? And it looks like a lost one. Um, alright. Excuse me. Uh, oh, we have to pretend that we like the this actor. Yeah, Kamatsu Nanako is fantastic. It's my, my favorite actor. 
Wow, is it Nanako's poster? And I like her so much. I thought it was a guy this whole time. Shows what I know. Ah, it's a cat. It's you, Nya. You are really inside. What the, what the, what the what? How did you get inside the poster? I'm a cat spirit, so it's easy for me. So this one actually does have magical powers, like confirmed. By the way, you mustn't tell Mochi-chan, otherwise it will definitely keep pestering me to teach it on how to get into the poster, Nya. Just teach it how to do use your powers. Sakuraku-chan is quite worried about you. Please go back quickly. It's so boring to go back, Nya. I have to watch humans indulge us every day when they say nya 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 as if we are idiots, but we can't understand what they are trying to say when they say nya 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 and such. Yeah, it's like when your cat meows for food and you meow back routine grammatical errors. Ah, uh, memes. So memes. By the way, if you can help me to tear this poster off, I will go back nya. Is it one of those ones that's, like, plastered directly to the wall? Because if it is, good luck with that. Um, I have collected all the posters of Nanako except this hand-painted limited edition poster, Nya. But my claws are so sharp, they would definitely tear the poster, Nya. I mean, I can try, man. Okay, but you have to promise me that you'll go back. No problem, Nya. This feels like a lie. I don't know why, but it feels like a lie. Okay, how do I tear off this poster? Um, is this a mini game? Oh, no, I just did it. Oh, that was easy. I would say. Uh, now what? Is that it? Are we done? Do we just go back now? S sweet. That was easy. Wee! Yo, I found your cats, bro. Kaharasan, Rin chan, and Mochi chan have already returned. Words can't express how grateful I am to you. You know, if uh, words don't work, we can always we can always go for a kiss. You know, just saying. Uh, I also like cats very much, so I can understand how you must have felt when the cats were lost, even though they were fine and would have returned for food. By the way, you must be tired after all that traveling. Please help yourself to our coffee house's special coffee and cakes. It will be my treat, so please help yourself. Sweet. All right. I free coffee and pastry. Hell yeah. Like most cafes, we will also prepare mocha for our valued guests. Kahara-san, you have helped us a lot. If we don't treat you well, this cafe would be too unwelcoming. Sorry for imposing on you, even though you sent me on a quest. It isn't exactly polite to ask about a guest's affairs, but excuse me for asking this. Why would you want to go to the Lane of the Weeping Rain? Uh, in fact, I came to Kuramori Town because of some inexplicable power, or should I say I got trapped here. Uh, and I heard there's a way to help me leave this place in Kuramoricho Gekijo. What? Kihara-san, excuse me for saying this. Kuramoricho Gekijo isn't safe. You, you, you really shouldn't. Aizawa, you shouldn't interfere with a guest's wishes. No, no, she's right. It's, it's definitely not safe. I'm aware of this, though, but I need to get my memories back, and I also want to leave, so... Yeah. Sorry... The coffee is ready. Kahara-san, please enjoy. Thank you, I, uh, I will. Let me serve you, Kahara-san. Aizawa, thank you. There is some sort of weird fantasy trip happening right now. Not for me personally, but for someone. Kahara-san, the coffee is hot. Please drink it slowly. Why are some words in quotes and some not? Or not quotes, but like those weird brackets? Is this? I feel like there's a clue or a puzzle that I'm missing. Somehow. For a moment, Aizawa-san seems to have cast a weird glance at me. When I'm about to raise the cup, I notice there's a note at the bottom of the cup. It says, Don't drink the coffee. Oh. Oh. I forget that this is technically a horror game sometimes. Why is the coffee poisoned? The coffee's poisoned, isn't it? Also, how did I see the note? Also, how did she write the note? You know what? I'm, I'm not going to poke holes. Let's just assume magic. There's a lot of magic in this world. Anything that doesn't make sense? Magic. Um. What's wrong, Kahara-san? Is the coffee not to your liking? N uh, no, 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 not at all. It's fine, it's fine. It's great, it's great. It's great coffee. Then don't delay. Try it quickly. 
this coffee is special. Really tastes very good. Uh, Kehar-san, drink this cup of coffee, and all your problems will be solved. Don't worry, the coffee isn't poisoned. <laughs> uh, ah! No, oh, you can teleport. Kehar-san, where are you going? Uh, the hell out of here. Ah, yeah. This power is... Ah! Oh. Okay, cool. That, that, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, what? Uh, is that a dead guy in a puddle of blood? Where am I? I'm in the carriage where the gas attack happened three years ago. Oh, that's not a good thing. Ah! I can smell something acrid, and my vision is getting blurry. And then a familiar voice is yelling from the right side of the train. Get out of the carriage! Hurry! All right, yeah. Don't have to tell me twice. Hey, pigeon boy, girl. Kiritani-san, why are you here? Told you, Nensha links our fates together. Yeah, you did mention that. Wait, you can speak now? Did you have to use the notebook before? Yeah, probably because the train has left Kuramori Town and the curse on me is somehow weaker. Oh, that's convenient. But it's only temporary. I still can tell you some things that I know. Although we finally left Karamori Town, we have to go back to break the curse. Good point. I do still want my memories. Also, we are three years in the past, and if I randomly show up home three years older, I know my dad has been told to not pay attention, but like, that still might raise some questions. By the way, Kaharachan, why did you come here by invoking Nensha? Oh... My God. The train car that that lady has made her cafe in is the train car that the terrorist attack happened in. That is morbid AF. That's like going to Roman Polanski's house where the frickin' Manson murders happened and making it a restaurant. That is dark. Also strangely fascinating. Let's continue. Well, it's a long story. And now we've told it. Convenient. Ah, Kaharachan, you would just trust other people that easily once again? Hey, one of them was a good person. It was only the owner who was sketchy. Sorry, I just wanted to get out of here as soon as possible. And a cat on the street told me that was the place to go. Forget it. Let's activate Nensha and return to Karamori Town first. Um, yeah, about that. Uh, the feather stopped glowing. Also, is that blood on the door? But more importantly, the feather stopped glowing. The notebook didn't mention this. But if you're interrupted while activating Nensha, or you brought too many people with you through Nensha, they may lead to fluctuations. Uh, we have no choice but to wait until the feather regains its powers. Before that, let's find a safe place to rest. Uh, sorry. Don't sweat it. At least you're safe and sound. That's true. I don't know what that lady was planning for me, but, um... Roofing my coffee? Not generally a good sign. Then I'd better go back to the pigeon form as before. Please bring me along with you, Kaharachan. Tee hee. Kaharachan's pocket is like a little heater. Once I go inside, I don't want to come out again. Yuki, you're a weird one, but I like you. Kira... Kiritani Yuki joins the team. Can I move again? Auto save. Well, I think that's gonna do the episode. So we're on, like, a ghost train with dead people who died horribly. So that's cool. And we'll find out more of how to escape this and the creepy cat cafe lady in the next episode so thank you for watching if you liked what you saw please like share and subscribe if you didn't like what you saw please like share and subscribe anyway and leave comments and whatever and uh i'll see you guys in chapter two part two the next episode have a good one Mwah.